right, I'm getting to solve your problems today. Keaton, oh, Keaton wrote this problem. Keaton has eight bowls and 72 biscuits of cereal. How many will go evenly into each bowl? All right, this sounds like a division problem to me. I know my fact families. I know that 8 times 9 is 72, so that means that 72 divided by 8 is 9. There should be 9 biscuits in each bowl, is that correct, Keaton? Let's check his work on the back. He gave us the answer back here, let's see if I got it right. Ah, very nice. Yes. Do you see that, guys? 72 total biscuits, 9 in each of the 8 bowls. That was a good one. Let's do another one. All right, this question is by Cynthia. Kate and Kaylee and one friend make 21 brownies. They want to get an equal amount of brownies. How much brownies will each girl get? Each girl is going to get blank brownies. All right, well, how many girls are there? This is a multi-step problem, good one. Let's see, there's two, three girls, right? Kate, Kati, Kaylee, and one friend, that's three girls. And they're sharing 21 brownies evenly. How much is each girl going to get? 21 divided by 3. Oh, this is another fact family one. I know. 21 divided by 3 equals blank. Well, 3 times 7 is 21. So 21 divided by 3 equals 7. Each girl will get 7 brownies. Mmm. That sounds good. All right, let's do one more. All right, this is by Jennifer F. Three people are sharing 45 chips. If everyone gets the same number of chips, how many chips does each person get? Okay, ooh, another division problem. Three people sharing 45 chips. So 45 divided by 3. Okay. I'm going to do big 7. I know an easy one here. 10 times 3 is 30. Oh, and another easy one. I know 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, so once I add up these two, I get 15. So each person's going to get 15 chips. All right, good one, Jennifer.